a Tuesday, it's a trap! What's up guys, it is Tuesday here on Hipster Trick It. So yeah, so I guess JK is out for now, or possibly forever, I'm not 100% sure. So we're working on someone covering tomorrow, and they just need an extra day, so I'm taking a day, they'll work out tomorrow. So, to fulfill the theme and challenge for this week, I think that I would be a perfect addition to the world of Star Wars, because I'm pretty sure that I am a Jedi. This is because I've actually spent like a year doing mounds of research on what it is to be a Jedi. Like seriously, I did the research, I think I still have the paperwork that I printed out somewhere around this room on telepathy and telekinesis and psychokinesis, levitation. I mean, I didn't want to be a magician because I thought magicians were all smoke and mirrors, which they are. Meanwhile, Jedi's are actual magic. It's actually a test to see whether or not you actually have the ability with like telekinesis. You're supposed to fill a bowl full of water, put a paper clip on a tiny little square of paper. You put a paper clip on there so it has a little bit of weight and then you are supposed to think at it and get it to move around the bowl. And I seriously stared at this thing for hours. And I think I ended up like falling asleep on the floor and then, but then when I woke up it had moved. So then I'm pretty sure that I actually just like exhaled and like it moved across the, the bowl. But I was certain, I was like, I did it, I know I did it. So one, I'm telekinetic. Two, I've always known what people are thinking. That's why when we did the X-Men short, Link in the doobly-doo, they made me a telepath because I pretty much am one. Three, I may not be able to do the whole these are not the droids you were looking for thing, but I can tell you right now that I love to argue. I will argue until the point that you just give me whatever I want. My way might take longer, but I guarantee you I will get what I want. Also, I have a huge crush on Luke Skywalker. Have since I was like five. So... I don't know if that necessarily adds to my resume, but I mean, it's a fact. Me. Crash on Luke. It's pretty much why I did the research for the telekinetic thing. I thought maybe if I had those powers, we could get married someday. Oh, the dorkiness of me. It's a trap! I hope that that convinced you guys that I am totally ready to go be part of the Star Wars universe. I would leave today, today, right now. <laughs> In fact, when I was really little, my aunt called me Princess Leia. My older brother was Luke Skywalker, and by then we knew they were brother and sister. We didn't. We knew there wasn't more. And I ditched the Princess Leia thing before I ever got a crush on Luke. Not my brother, Luke. My little brother, who was two at the time, was a little round butterball, so we called him Jabba the Hutt, but he couldn't pronounce it, so he was Bubba Hutt. He's like tall and lean now, but he's still the a head. Little bro. Hopefully our cell will be ready to go tomorrow afternoon. Please give him a warm hipster chicken welcome so that he feels like part of the family for as long as he's with us before we move into somebody else. Or if he stays for the remainder, then I don't know. What do you think? Check him out. It's pretty awesome. <laughs> I'll see you guys next week. Should be Wednesday. Hopefully. I absolutely love you guys. You guys rock out loud. Bye.